Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about Shopify and why they chose Rust for systems programming. Now the word systems programming generally mean much lower level programming with you know high performance native code. For Shopify, they wanted to make things like network servers and extending Ruby with native code. For these purposes, they historically used Go and C, but they are choosing Rust now and we will see the reasons. It is important to mention that their main backend language is still Ruby. So if they want to create some new backend component or some new backend service, they would first reach out to Ruby and not Rust. Rust is here only for systems programming. So we should use things where they are really good at and not just take one language and blindly apply it everywhere. We should first apply it to very specific parts of the system where it will be best at. Shopify mentions that choosing the right language for systems programming is critical as it can have like make or break uh, implications. So these are the reasons that they give why they chose Rust. First is consistency. Look, systems programming can be spread across many domains. It's not like a very tightly defined term for a very particular use case. The example that Shopify gives us is that their systems programming is spread across building new extensions with native code for Ruby, high performance servers, and then WebAssembly. Now Rust is a language that checks all these boxes. Mind you, not many languages do so. Maybe C or C++, but they have some other problems that we will discuss. They got this consistency from Rust and they were really happy with it. So let's see what the next factors are. The second factor, the obvious one, performance. Everyone is just crazy about Rust's performance and Shopify does not disagree. Rust generates native code and it also does not have a garbage collector, which contributes to its pretty cool speeds. They have mentioned that obviously C++ can match that performance and sometimes even go if the garbage collection issues are not much. Now this is important. Rust is not magic. They know that Rust can give them a pretty high performance ceiling, but the performance floor still has to be supported with good code. It won't save you from bad code. Nothing saves you from bad code. The third factor, productivity. Okay, so they agree that Rust is not really known for its easy learning experience, but when Shopify's developers got to really know Rust, they were quite comfortable with it. And I'm seeing it too, like I'm trying to write more Rust and uh, learning more Rust. And I'm seeing things are getting better. You do get used to it. Now Rust already has some pretty great tool chains and ID integrations. Shopify also like the type system and macros in Rust. Now some other languages like Go might be better than Rust in this aspect, but C++ kind of loses out here. And I have worked on large C++ code bases and it does get a bit hard after some point of time, especially if your code goes into that legacy territory, it does get hard. The next factor is safety. Rust's memory safety is quite cool. It shows up most errors that would make your application suffer in runtime in the compile time. So this might be data races or invalid pointers and things like that, you know. It does put more restrictions on how you write your code in Rust, but it does save you from a lot of anxiety when you deploy it to production. With this, Shopify says that they can be fearlessly parallel and they can deploy confidently. And in this aspect, Rust came out strongly above other languages. C++ would be a more difficult choice here because in terms of safety, you have to manually go around and uh, write free statements for all the objects you allocated on the heap. The fifth reason is interoperability. I don't know if I pronounced that right. It just means that uh, it works well with other components seamlessly. Rust is easier to interface with existing libraries written in C. And there is a lot of tools like BindGen to make it happen. They also found tools to make it work with Ruby, which is their primary backend language. So as Rust is playing well with everything else in their system, Rust can easily fit in. The last reason I want to point out is Rust's community. Turns out Shopify really likes them and they have also joined Rust's foundation. They like Rust's governance model and the RFC structure. RFC is just a way for you to propose and bring changes into Rust. And it seems like Shopify really wants to support and grow Rust. So these were all the reasons. Uh, do you agree with them or do you think that there might have been better language choices for them? Now, in spite of that, this shows that there is a wave at least in favor of Rust from many great engineering companies. So this is a language you should at least try. Um, 
and i would have really loved if they gave more metrics and more technical data in the blog that they wrote um, but yeah you know you have to be happy with whatever you have but do take a look at the blog and uh, read it i will link it in the description so that would be it for this video you know the drill like and subscribe if you haven't uh, so see you in the next one until then bye